to feel good at the end of the day. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Rat Pack's Farms. Hey, we're trying to do some immersion here, so if you like Farming Simulator, if you like keeping it real and try to pretend as if this is as realistic as possible, then this might be the show for you. Go ahead and hit that like button to show your support. We are uh, harvesting some grain here today, taking care of some sheep, and uh, good old grandpappy passed away, left us some good loan and everything like that. But we've got ourselves 138,000 uh, euros left and some good equipment and some uh, got a good friend here, Shrike who's teamed up with me. For those of you who want to see Uthris, Palm, and everyone else, they'll be joining us again sometime soon. But for now, us two are going to uh, we're going to try to do our best here on the farm. We're city folks, so we're newbies, so if you want to give us some hints and trip, uh, tips and everything else and tricks for Farming Simulator 17, go ahead and let us know, of course, down below in the comments section. We've got our wonderful case tractor here. We're doing some what they call wind rowing, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pile everything up so that way we can uh, try to get ourselves some bales so that we, we can uh, easily uh, tidy up the, the farm field here as best we can. I'm not the best at it, but we'll uh, try to get as much as we can. There we go. All right, how you doing on the harvest there, Shrike? Really well. All right, very good. We've got about, uh, oh, wow, we're, we're almost done with the field. I'd say we've got about maybe 15 to 20% of the field left. You did a good job, man. We'll have to uh, take turns here in a minute with the harvester. I'll uh, switch over with you in a little bit. But... Uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe too if you want to see more. And of course, we do live stream Farming Simulator 17 as well on the channel. So if you want to join us, all you got to do is check down below in the description to join the TeamSpeak where you can join me, Shrike, and everyone else of the Rat Pack who plays Farming Simulator. We'd love to have you guys to be a part of the show. So uh, don't hesitate. All right, I think I've done some good wind rowing for now. Um, let's see what else can we do. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let, well, let's do this. Why don't you go over to the New Holland trailer? which is hauling our, uh, oh, actually, wait a minute, let me do this. Before I uh, finish any further, let me unload what you've got currently, then you can take the red tractor over to pick up a baler, and then I can do the harvest, and then uh, we can uh, figure it out from there if we need to actually unload one more time before we're done. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right, good. Wow, we did like an aircraft-like uh, refueling, by the way, uh, last episode. I was really proud of my ability to uh, link up with you while you were like in mid-flight, so I'm going to see if I can master that one again. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll wait till you come back here once you flip around, so we'll be perfect for that. All right, so our uh, little, uh, what came with the farm, the uh, little tipper that we've got here, it's only got about, uh, well, it's got about 70%, uh, it's almost 70% full, so we're almost at capacity on this one. We could probably sell it right away, and uh, we've got some sheep going already, and uh, couple of good things here so we're off to a good start for not really doing this before and it's uh, nice to actually have a start like this all right there you go for your next pass I'll link up with you and then uh, wow there's more wind rowing to do I, I got most of it not too bad not the not worst bad at all. but uh, yeah that's the nice thing is that we're pretending as if we were from this the city we've never really done this before which is true so we'll learn as time goes on you're traveling at nine Yes, sir. Nine kilometers? Okay, I'll try to link up with you then. All right, here we go with that mid-air refueling again. There we go. Oh. My bad. Accidentally hit the cruise control button. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to keep her in uh, keep her in check. All right, we're at ninety percent capacity, I and think we're both full. Oh, I saw seven percent. Okay, well that should be hopefully enough to finish up the harvest. So I'll go ahead and park this thing then. Nice thing is, is I can get off the field and just circle back via the uh, beautiful pathway here. The the uh, independent suspension and everything on these tractors is just amazing in this game. The uh, By the way, this mod, if you want to play with this map, by the way, which is known as Old Stream or Old Streams. I can't remember if it's plural or not, but... Uh, yeah, it has an S. S, Old Streams. Okay, so if you want to play on that one, it is down below in the description. And again, if you want to join us, just join the team. So look at that, man. That independent suspension just, just rocking it, man. Just incredible. Really great job with Farming Simulator 17. Not only so the you mod want me makers. to make one more pass? You take over and I go get uh, the baler? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Time for me to take over the harvest. You've been doing a majority of it. I'm, I better get to work on that, too. 
Now, once we once you get back with the baler, you could start uh, baling right away. And then uh, I can park the harvester off the field, finish the wind rowing, and then we can talk about what we're going to do with the harvest. We can, of course, always save it, but eh, we can also sell it too. I don't know if uh, maybe do we maybe we should silos? save it. Uh, we do have one back at the house, so we can we'll figure it out. We can do something with it. Yeah, not a problem. All right, so you're almost done over here. Beautiful case tractor right here. Absolutely love the uh, 1455. Man, just absolutely fantastic trailer. I want to also get a Massey Ferguson. That'd be a good tractor for us to get two strike. Yeah, I like the bigger ones, All the right. 770s. Yeah, me too. I'm uh, I'm finding my inner chi up here on this rock. I'm just crouched down trying to find my my you want inner me to turn farmer. Turn it around forward for you. Uh, yeah, go ahead, tr flip her around. I'll hop in, and then you can. Uh, oh, while you're doing that, I'll buy us a, a baler. Then I think. What we'll do is we'll uh oops almost bought the wrong thing there. I'll buy us the uh, the uh, let's see the roll belt 150 for 58,000. That'll allow us to start uh, bailing up our hay, and then we could also probably get a flatbed at some point too, and we'll start loading those on there to sell. All right, Shrike, I'm ready when you are. Let me know. You good? There you go. All right, you uh you can take any tractor I suppose to pick that thing up and bring her on back here. It's already at the store, so you're good to go. Wow. You already know. Case International, baby. The 1030. What do you think that is? You think that's 25 foot on that harvester? I'm uh, not sure. Actually, I can figure out for you. It is 14 foot. Oh, 14. Oh, okay. I was sadly mistaken. Oh, well. You did a pretty good job, by the way, uh, getting most of those crops. You've done better than I could. Thank you. Nice work. All right, so a few more passes. And we'll be good there. We uh, might even end up bringing our trailer back to the house. Uh, I'm already. Oh at, wow! What's up? The suspension, the flexes. And oh, you, wow. you see what I was saying? Yeah. That's all I want to do. Like it's nice. <laughs> it's the <laughs> nicest thing in the world, man, to watch that suspension just really so working it. It is. It is, and they did a fantastic job. And I love how uh, you know the Black Sheep crew have put in that kind of. I mean, that's really what the types of roads that you're going to be driving on. Not not these. Um, you know, these yeah. straight, long, flat, brown roads that are in uh, the vanilla maps. No no offense to them at all. They're trying to make it as appealing to mod makers as possible to make it accommodating for bigger vehicles. But uh, no, that not, nothing compares to what the uh, Black Sheep crew have done here. I think they've also made a... I also saw a line of ro uh, roll belts, I believe they're called, or whatever makes the, the round balers. I think they have a whole line of those out as well. So a really cool modding group. So it's really nice to see them uh, doing stuff in Farming Simulator. Very cool. And then you get off the road and make all the dirt tracks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you come off the road onto the, uh, or, well, off a dirt road onto a asphalt yeah. road. Yeah, it's really cool. I actually, a uh, mod that we'll be uh, showing a little bit later, we do have a sweeper, too, if we get things a little bit too messy. But it is the coolest thing in the world if you have a high traffic area and a very organized uh, team where people are coming back and forth, especially like a logging site. That is just really cool oh, yeah. to see if uh, everybody's kind of coming in and out of the same area. This Case International, it's got a TV on it. I wonder if I get, do I have TiVo on this thing, or is that just like <laughs> a, a backup camera or something, you think? You know, that's a great question. I don't know. I want to watch the game, but uh, uh, maybe I'll start from the other side of the field here. I don't know. I'll, I'll come over here again. All right, good. Turn it on YouTube, see if you can watch your videos. Oh, you want, oh, yeah. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to watch that garbage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll watch well, it. it's not garbage if you're in it. It's all right. So hopefully Pixel, Uthris, Palm, and the uh, rest of our group, including uh, Rick G, and uh, just a, a few of the other people who were with us as well, are interested in joining Rainbows and Shadow and stuff, will be joining us soon in our uh, multiplayer series. So uh, it may seem simple with just the two of us. Uh, we can make it if we try, just the two of us, you know, you and I, Shrike. But oh, yeah. um, we're gonna we're gonna need some more employees soon enough to assist. And I see you're back with that uh, baler already. That, I love this small map because you don't have to go far for anything. Not far at all. If you do have to drive, you're you're on the road for five minutes there and back, and then that's pretty much the extent of your your journey. So, really nice. All right. So I think I've wind I, I've done windrows on two on the side of the field you're on. So if you want to start there, and then I can go ahead and switch over to. Um, doing uh, windrows of the uh, remaining sides. We'll get this field all cleaned up before we drop anything off. That's the nice thing is that we have uh, we have plenty of cash and plenty of time. 
Luckily, well, when we were playing multiplayer, we had we took out just everybody had like a tractor, and the lease was just super expensive. We we kind of weren't making any progress after a while on that Shellington map, but here, with just a few players and me not having to pay you guys, is fantastic. It's really great. Slave hey, labor. Hey, about that. No, that's cool. It's it's a grandfather's <laughs> will. It's all right. It's all good. <laughs> wow, you're oh you've already made your first bail, or two. second? Oh, two bails. Oh, it's the those bailers, man. They're quick. Oh, apparently I hit a rock. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna cost some money. I was closer to it than I thought. Oh, that's a case. It's tough. That's right. Yeah, it's a uh, quite the machine. So I think maybe uh, two or three more passes, and we'll be done here. The case is only at forty-four percent, so. Uh, I think we'll have enough room to finish, so we won't need to uh, worry about the tipper. And then we can just figure out, well, uh, obviously we'll have to load it, unload it at some point. And we'll bring some of that back to uh, back to the farm. I wish you could adjust the mirrors, that'd be nice. That would be nice, like Euro truck and American truck. Yeah, or the seat. Oh, is there a cup holder in this case? Oh my, oh, I don't see a cup holder. Oh. No drinking and driving. Well, now, a Gatorade never hurt nobody. <laughs> Gives you all them electrolytes, nutrients. Man, we're going to make like 150 bales on this field. It's going to be cool. I think the Good. cedar the cedar we have, too, by the way, uh, requires a cultivator. So when we go to do seeding, we're going to have to cultivate and seed before we can buy anything else. We just don't have, uh, don't have the cash for anything else. We'll work our way up from the bottom like Drake. It'll be fine. <laughs> like Drake. Yeah, like Drake. That's when you should uh, edit in the song if it wasn't copyrighted. Yeah, it is. All right, so you've got another. I'm just oh, getting that out of the way. Are you starting on the second windrow now? Yes, sir. I was getting that one little path out the way because when I ride over it, it makes it like cut uneven. Oh, I got you. I really enjoy the windrowing, though. uh... The windrower is a little little short. I'd like to see it maybe extend another maybe two feet. That'd be perfect. But Don't they make uh, another one? Yeah, there is a higher tier one, but, you know, it, it's like in this game it goes, you know, $500, $5,000, $500 billion. And it's like, whoa. Yeah. You don't have, like, a nice midline. Nope. But the good solution to that, a lot of solutions in this game can come from uh, having multiple people on multiple tractors. If you have... You know, people think they need to buy the absolute largest harvester, and that's not the case. If you buy two medium-sized harvesters and get a friend, then that's oh, uh, yeah. that's perfect. That's all you really that's need to do. Definitely. All right, well, just over 50% at uh, about 53% now. The harvesting has been completed. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can nab the last few pieces of grain here just to get, get us as full as possible. Every bit counts, I suppose. So are you just going to leave it in the harvester until we figure out what we want to do with the tipper? I think so. The tipper is completely full, so really the only thing we have to do is um, just hold on to what we got for the time being. In fact, what we could do is uh, dump the whatever's in the tipper back at the house and then unload the uh, harvester back into the tipper and then dump everything else out. It's not going to be too hard for us to get things out of the silos if we need to. Oh, we also need to go check uh, if the sheep are producing any wool. Well, they should be. Let me check our... Uh, isn't there a way to check that when you're in the mini-map? Uh, yes. You can check their cleanliness or whatever. Uh, if they're hungry. How do you do that? Is that under fruit types? It's under animals. So they have full hay grass, a lot of water, oh. and they're clean. Next animal... Oh, they can reproduce as well. Very good. Cleanliness is high. Water... Oh, perfect. So what's our produ uh, productive... Oh, we're at 99%. Beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. But we're only at 6%. Wait, no. Wool, what's six zero percent? Oh, because we have six... I don't know. I don't know what that means. I see zero. Oh, you see zero? Yeah, but next to it is a number six, so I'm, I'm just wondering what that is. We should probably save here, too. All right, good. All right, well, uh, let me do some uh, windrow, and then you took the red tractor to do that, so I'll grab the blue tractor. Nice thing about these jobs, bailing and windrowing take, like, zero... Uh, they, they, you can literally do them with, like, just no... You don't need a tractor with any sort of power at all to do it. Oh no! All right, Which let me park good. here. There's a si nice simulated mud bath right here for the for the tractor. Nice. Got that deer stand right there that you Ooh. can just walk through. Hold on, I just need to see this again. Oh yeah! Wow, that thing it was flinging mud. All right, I'll grab the windrower and get to get to work. 
Oh, you're on the last row. Good. Wow, the timing is impeccable here. We did a really good job of this. Time is money. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we got plenty of both, so just sit tight. Oop. Wait, did I? I didn't hit anything. Uh, strange hitbox here of something I didn't even... Okay, that's weird. Must be the edge of the map. Invisible border. See That'll that? get you. Yeah, that border. By those invisible walls. There we go. Alright, let's see if I can back this thing out of here. Alright, let's start our wind rowing again. I missed you, wind rower. Happy to be back. Alright, let's start her up. True love. It, it is love at first sight here. Drop her down. Start rowing. I'll go a little bit slower on the wind rower. Do they make a bigger round baler or is this the top line? Nope, there is one bigger round baler. So we can uh, definitely get bigger bales if we need to. But with this smaller field, we should be okay. Oh, yeah. We don't need it. I was just wondering. Nice thing is we can uh, use the... Does the tractor you have... I don't think it can be upgraded to have a front loader, can it? I'm not certain. Um, check for you. It could. could. If so, we could upgrade it. It'll be a little easier than bringing out the... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, it can. Correct. Okay. So we can uh, bring it out here if we need to. Ooh. Gotta pay attention. If we start doing logging or anything or bill forks, yeah. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Perfect. So we got two tractors at least that we can upgrade with front loaders. So that's absolutely phenomenal for pretty much any of our extra jobs. We can just leave the one we got at the uh, at the uh, farm for loading and unloading. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Day gum. I think everything's just falling into place right about now. Yeah, well, the uh, immersion is real. I'm really enjoying this. Nice and go. peaceful. Oh, this is really going to look nice. Really beautiful. We gotta get the screenshot of when it's all bailed and all the hay is just in the field. Yeah, with the tractors parked there or something? Oh, yeah. See all those wonderful, like, stock window backgrounds and stuff? Make it in a farming simulator. It's very, it's very peaceful. I mean, this is a Euro truck simulator, farming simulator. Uh, both great games to just really relax with. I mean, you really don't have to do anything other than just chill and uh, you know do a little little bit of work. I mean, you're barely working when you're when you're doing this, especially if you got like a friend or something joining you, and yeah. you could just really put your feet up and digitally relax. And you could always do something. It's never you just sit there and do nothing. Yeah, there is always something to do in Farming Simulator for sure. There we go. I'm missing a lot of the rows, but I'm I think I'm getting I don't know, I'm getting better than worse and then good again. I don't <laughs> I'm all over <laughs> the road, but There we go. That's that's how I should be hitting it. That looks good. Alright, one more row to go, and then you, you're you about halfway done with the bailing, too, so while we're uh, done with this, I'll go ahead and uh, I can even head back and get the uh, tipper unloaded. Yeah. I wonder if we have any other fields ready to go. Field 5, field 15 is also ours as well. Do we have any crops there for sure? Um, I don't look. know, actually. I think there's one near the farm, another one, that you, we can also mow and use for, um, you know, the clippings. Oh, know. yeah. Well, tho for those fields are fine, the pastures, sheep. but I mean the, um, I mean the big, uh, crop fields. Yeah. 
think there was another one, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't wheat. Okay. Can't miss any spot with me. It pops out. Alright, that should be good enough for the uh, windrowing. There's still one on the outside, but we can come back and get that, so I'll uh, fold up the windrower then. That's two jobs done. Looking good. Yep. Alright, so... You want to switch now on uh, bail? I can do a little bit of bailing if you want, and then you can go dump the uh, tipper at the house. Sure. And then come back and unload the rest from the uh, from the harvester. So I'll switch jobs with you. Wow, this really... We cleaned up this field really nicely. Oh, yeah. A really good job. All right, on, on to bailing. Not even uh, have a field done. We need to break out the pressure washer for sure. Yeah, it's like the moment you leave the house, you got to immediately start pressure washing. Yep. Wow, you really didn't let any behind you. I see what you... Wow, you're getting every little piece of uh, straw, weren't you? Yeah, it stands out, and it kind of bugs me sometimes, <laughs> so... <laughs> I'll uh, circle back and get anything I miss then, so I can do it. Oh, you set the standard, the precedent, so I'll go ahead and make sure I do the same. <laughs> All right. I'll finish bailing here, and... We'll be on to the next thing. So the baler works exactly as you would think it would. You drive <laughs> over the hay and yeah. it makes a bale for you. Look, look at the view that I was talking about when I saw you coming. Look to your right. Oh, I don't see you. Oh, that tree is blocking it? That could be. Or a building. You see me now? Oh, I see you. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, the trees were in the way. Yeah. Very cool. All right, we had a little baby. A little baby bale. So uh, as I was explaining to everyone, all you got to do is basically just drive in the over the uh, the wind road areas, and then this will beep as soon as you're about full. And once you come to 100%, all you want to do is bring her to a stop, press the Y button, unload your bale, and that's it. Just uh, hit Y and keep rolling again. Pretty easy job, and uh, made simple. made easier with the te uh, the wind rower because if you didn't have that, man. It would just take absolutely forever to go back and forth on these fields. It'll save you some money not to buy one, but you'll be regretting it, I think. There we go. Huh, so where am I dumping this? I don't see any silos. I think oh, there's a hole on the ground right here. Yeah, it, where the hole in the ground is. It, does it have like a green square around it? Um, no. There is one. It's one, of the, uh, one of the sheds has a, a green square around it. It's uh, hard to see, but I, I I can't forget where it is. You'll just have to kind of putz around the, the house a little bit. But once you find it, you'll know where it is for the future reference. Let's see. Alright, there we go. I like to just roll back a bit so I can roll forward while I start. Perfect. So I hear that in real life they'll be making uh, uh, bail rollers that will not need you to stop any longer, which apparently will, well, obviously will pick up the pace quite a bit if you don't need to stop. Just like the square ones. Yeah, just like with square bailers. That'll be neat, especially to see it in farming sim. Exactly. Hopefully. Somebody should mod it in shortly, I would hope, but we'll see about that. Question is, how will it work? How will it look? I know. I'm really curious to see how what what kind of a how the, how it'll work. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be the coolest thing to see how it um, how it deploys stuff like that. Yeah, the square ones are small, but these round bales are huge. That's the nice thing about the round. Well, in farming simulator, I think it's the same capacity or size is what someone told me but I don't know about that the round ones obviously you can hold much more than that Oops. well maybe the 
for when you sell it or um, you know, have to use it for something, it's the same capacity, but like size wise, like when you look at it, yep. it's bigger. Yeah, that's good. That's a good point. I think maybe the, the round the ones are just easier to stack. Ah, uh, value. That's all important. All right. Did you find an area to sell that crop yet, or not crop? Uh, sell, but unload. I'm searching. <laughs> all right. We'll find it. Not a problem. On the map. Yeah, it's a it's one of the drive-through areas. There sure is a lot of them. Yeah, I'll uh, be done with bailing in about a minute here, so I'll uh, see if I can come over and. Oh, I found a green circle. Yeah, is that it? If you roll over that, does it just say on load for for silo? Uh, yeah, no. No. Okay. I think that might be it, but we might be wrong. It's all right. We're city folk. That's why. That's why we ain't know <laughs> nothing. Phew. Grandpa should have left us a guide. Should have left a note at least. <laughs> I'd probably just say noobs on the door. Most likely. But in all his time, all he managed to have was one field. Well, two fields, I mean. Maybe that's all well, he needed back in the day. Yeah, probably. Oh wait, is this it? Silos, yes. You there have to you go. Open the door. Oh yeah, There's that's a right. I forgot. Sliding door. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Some of the doors have to open. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. You found it. That's good. All right, you got it. And it's right next to that green circle. Oh, next to the green circle. All right, note to self. Next to green circle. Unload. Good work. Well, your side is perfect. My side's getting there. I uh, <laughs> left a few pieces of grain and stuff. Your OCD is paying off, though. Hey, every little bit counts. Some people just drive across the field and then Hey, even those it. little bits, yeah. um, they count in the baler, too. In the long run, it sure will. I don't think I have enough to make another bale now, but at least it's uh, the field picked up as best it can. Hey, man, we did a really good job for uh, being some city slickers who have only played oh, a yeah. few times. This is really good. I'm going to circle back and pick up a little bit more, and then that should be that, so... Uh, let's go ahead and pick up pick up the pace a bit. I know we can go faster in this thing too, but uh, it's all good. We're not we're not in a hurry. We got we got we're gonna be here all day. Perfect. Um, if, and if you're not doing anything, uh, you can start getting the uh, uh, harvester so I can dump. Oh. You, you can dump the rest. Yeah, I think. Well, we might want to bring the harvester over to that other field if it's. Well, let's let's investigate. Look, look to your left. What, what do you mean? Just look on the road my left oh well in front of you now never mind oh well oh you're coming back oh there you go yeah, yeah that beautiful yeah awesome oh good I'll uh, unload the harvester with you and that'll be that perfect Looks right, good the, the fields clean for about 99 percent I'd say Fair we did enough. a really good job oh, I'm on the wrong side oh yeah just circle around the equipment and I'll uh, hop in the harvester All right, there you go, 53% in the harvester, so. Excellent work. That's our first field done together. That uh, seemed like an easy job, but uh, made it only easier because it's, uh, you know, two people splitting the work. So oh, yeah. next episode, folks, we're going to bring in some more of the Rat Pack. So, again, if you guys want to join us, check down below in the description so that way you can join us in Farming Simulator and join the TeamSpeak in order to be a part of the fun. And until next time, we'll see you. Say goodbye, Shrek. Bye. Just to feel good at the end of the day